we're just going to go over some of our products. And we just want to do a little refresher so we can explain to you because there's been some questions. The first one I'm going to talk about is our main reading slash crystal reading. And the way it works is when you first book a reading, Heidi just gives me the first name and I meditate on you. And usually I come up with two colors. And I, I didn't realize at first what they represented, but now, now I do. They represent the crystals that would work best for you in your particular situation. And I call Heidi and I give her the colors and we go through different crystals and she shows me crystals and somehow I just get a feeling and I know what crystals you need. And so after I do the reading with you and answer your questions and talk to your departed, um, Heidi will come on and she'll talk to you with your, about your crystal calls and how to use them and for your situation. Um, and then she can either, you can either purchase them from us or Heidi will give you some suggestions on where email reading you can use one question at a time you can use two you can use two and then one one then two you can use them in any way you want you, you can do one 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 if you want and that's fine um now Heidi also does dream interpretations and I'm going to hand you over to her so she can explain about the dream interpretations and a couple other products that we have now the dream interpretations uh you actually email me as much information as you remember about your dreams. No detail is too small and you don't have to remember the dream in order that you that it comes to you, especially if um, you think you're finished with the dream and you remember something else. Just let me know as much detail as you can. Also, let me know whether or not you are a participant in the dream or you're an observer. I like to dive really deep into each detail. That's why I truthfully like to give it through an email. And that way I can give you a lot of meat and potatoes in that email versus just having you sit in front of me and I say, okay, this is what um, a dark night means. This is what a wolf means. This is what a, what a star shooting star means. I like to dive a little bit deeper into the history and then have it, um, see if it relates to, to you and what you're going through. Another product that we do sell, which I absolutely love, is um, something that I think everybody needs now. We need to relax a little bit more. We need to take a breath and a step back and to start pampering ourselves. One of the things that we have is called our lavender and oatmeal bathtub tea. And it does come in this box right over here. And they look like this. You get two in a box and they look like this, literally. Handmade tea bags with oatmeal, Epsom salts, lavender, and lavender essence. This is not for human consumption. This is for you to just put in your bathtub, to wash with it in the shower, or put it underneath the shower water where it can get all over you. Because there's Epsom salts in here. Epsom salts automatically is a nice muscle relaxant for you. If you have been on your feet all day long, you can use this as a foot bath as well. And it's just a really nice thing to do for yourself after you've gotten out of work and you just want to relax a little bit, especially for the week. We have a three-day weekend if you don't have to work. This is something really nice to start off your weekend with. Something else that I do like, especially for like the little kids that are out there that don't sleep really well or having nightmares, uh, I have a sleepy pillow spray. Also with some lavender essence in it, lavender buds and I've put in some amethyst down at the bottoms to enhance the the liquid that's in here so that all of you can just have a good night's sleep and you just spray it on your pillow and you let it dry for a few minutes and then you just put your head on the pillow and just enjoy the fragrance of the lavender relaxing you and putting you to sleep all of our products that we do have here are on the website at adventuringpsychics.com to get our products, just go, just click them to get the appointments. Cause Jane, you're going to be doing by appointment as well as doing the house reading. I we forgot about the house reading. We do those as well. Jane can do them in person as well as virtually. And if you check some of our reviews that we have, we do have a client on there that enjoyed um, Jane hitting the nail on the head about what was going on in his home. So we do those as well, and we can help you out. Um, one of the- I, I interrupt, 
For one second, I, I have I have done the house readings by email, but I do need a picture. You can send it to me in text, whatever, of the house and of the area that's having the problem with, right? uh, the problems. I don't want I don't want to call them problems because sometimes they're not problems. Sometimes they're mm -hmm. just upset. But yes, and as far as all those products, those are those are Heidi's proprietary recipes. Um, we do list all the ingredients. But she does know uh, the amounts to put in and not. So if you want to play with it, please be careful. Mm. Um, if you want to kind of go off on your own and, and not purchase from us, which is fine, just be careful what you're putting in and what you're, the amounts you're putting in and stuff. And Heidi, if you contact Heidi, I'm sure she'll help you with that if you wanted to. Absolutely. I do not mind sharing the recipes. All of these, all of them are naturally sourced oils, meaning that we do not abuse the, the earth when we're getting them, we replenish. And I like to, uh, I really just enjoy making them. So everything is homemade. Uh, when you call me, I make them, I send them out to you. So they're not sitting in a, in a warehouse in a box. I make them on request. Another thing that Jane and I are doing and we're really kind of excited about, we're gonna do some destination uh, adventures and we want to do some readings at some of the adventures that we're going on. And the first one that is coming up is next Friday, fingers crossed, the Linden Mansion. Now I did call them and they did say that they were on a, uh, doing some renovations. They should be done by next week. So we're planning on going on Friday. I will keep you posted and let you know. And then Jane and I are gonna go on a tour and we're gonna find out what Jane is able to pick up and then hopefully we'll be able to put that out to you of what Jane has found, who she's been, at, who she's contacted, and maybe get the Linden Mansion involved to see if they will let us do a little bit more with them. So that is a tentative plan for us, and we do have something else planned next month if that's a surprise. And that's something we're planning on doing. We're trying to visit different locations, maybe every month, every two months. So if you have any suggestions or anything you want us to check out, you know, email us at uh, info at adventurinepsychics.com and we'll gladly check into the different locations. Um, I wanted to add two things. One thing I forgot, when I do the big reading, I get images from my spirit guides and I do the drawings. And I did that real fast because that, that was an actual reading. Um, we will send you a copy of the uh, drawings I get with little written explanations on it. That is part of the big reading. Um, and the other thing was we took the ghost to a Bristol, a very dear friend of ours. Mm -hmm. And it was very interesting. We were outside Linden Mansion, and I did pick up things on the outside. So I'm really excited to get inside to see what's there. And we yeah, will keep too. it posted. Okay, everyone, uh, we are hoping that you have a rest of a good day and uh, just relax on the weekend that we have that is uh, here and upcoming and enjoy yourselves and take care of yourselves. Okay, bye bye. Yes. And, and you know, emails with any questions or any suggestions. We're all ears. All right. Bye, everyone. Have a good day. Thank you. Rest. You too. Bye.